Good morning. I had to sit down and record this one this morning because yesterday after I finished doing my video and I went for my inevitable cup of tea, I got out my iPad and the first thing I saw was a Eurogamer article about hidden messages in Metal Gear Survive. And it's an interesting and <laughs> quite funny article when you consider what's been going on with Konami over the last few years. But I was wondering if there's anything to it. Now, I don't know what you guys think, but this is what Eurogamer had to say. Upon creating your character in game, you're shown a glimpse of a clipboard that features yourself and your fellow soldiers. And keen eyed Redditors have spotted that the first letters of the initials of a succession of them spells out KJP forever an apparent reference to Kojima Productions, Hideo Kojima's outfit that was once an integral part of the Konami development team. The references don't end there. The last two names on the list, both marked as AWOL, are Bastard Yota and Cunning Yuji, perhaps referencing Metal Gear Survive's director Yota Tsumizaki and producer Yuji Korikado. Excuse me for the pronunciations, I don't speak Japanese. But it gets even more interesting than that because other commentators, including Yong Ye on YouTube, have pointed out further possible telling references. And we've got Ian Marlin at the top of the list and Daya Gibbon. And if you look at those two names, the, the first letters of the second word or well, the second name, are M and G, which are possible references to Metal Gear. And if you also note that next to that it says KIA, or Killed in Action, then <laughs> you can see that it, there may be a suggestion that Konami have, in effect, killed off the Metal Gear franchise. And I think a lot of people who've looked at Metal Gear Survive would suggest that that's probably the case. It gets even more interesting than that, though. If you read Games Radar's article, uh, Leon Hurley, who wrote the article, points out that these apparent hidden messages could have been introduced during the translation of the game. Uh, that's into English from Japanese, presumably. And this is what he says. It's not clear yet whether anything similar appears in the original Japanese. This could be something added in localization, and, and that's actually a really interesting point. I spoke to a source within the localization industry, and they confirmed that gaming companies tend to use small translation agencies or even individual translators. They'll also use crowdsourcing and will pull in gamers who speak the language required. It's much cheaper doing that than hiring one of the bigger localization companies, and given that Konami seem only about the bottom line, it's reasonable to think that that's likely what they've done here. <laughs> and what that could mean is that <laughs> the translation was given over to a disgruntled fan or fans of the Metal Gear games. Fans who may have decided they'd have a bit of fun and make a statement at Konami's expense. If that is the case, then <laughs> it's pretty funny and also fitting that Konami should be caught out in this way. Uh, a case of hoisted by their own petard, I think. Whether it is a disgruntled localization worker or workers or a pissed off employee or just a few fans seeing something that isn't really there, though, this says everything you need to know about how people feel about Konami. Personally, I'm on the fence. I've no idea whether this is actually true or whether people are just seeing something that isn't there, as I've said. But it's not completely ridiculous that somebody could have smuggled this into the final game. And we've seen similar things happen in games before. But let's be honest, it's very easy to get sucked into stuff like this. And we all love a conspiracy theory, don't we? It could very easily just be a bunch of people who are seeing more than is actually there and letting their imaginations run away with them. But what do you guys think? You know, let me know in the comments. We'll have a chat about it as usual or come over to Discord and we can chat about it there and have a laugh about it because, you know, it's always good to have a laugh at Konami's expense. F*** Konami. Uh, 
But that's me done for today. I'm going to go and grab myself the usual cup of tea and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.